Those of you who have been with me for a little while, you know that uh, I spent a lot of my early retirement collecting and fixing up old tractors. And I'm going to turn the page on that chapter of my life, I think, and, and move on a little bit. But uh, I am keeping my brother Super C because, like I said, we got this when I was five years old. And uh, probably was the first tract I ever drove. And my brother passed away, and I, I have it now. So I'll, I'll never sell this. And it, one of my kids will inherit it someday. Uh, and I'm keeping, you know, the implements that went with it. Except for I sold I sold the cultivators and the snow plow because I'll never use the snow plow and the cultivators I'll never use them. I had fast hitch cultivators and uh, the snow plow, but I kept the regular plow, the harrows, the mower, and the carry all. And then I kept uh, enough enough pieces and parts to to keep it up without having to buy more parts. But I've got up 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 here. I'm going to show you uh, two boxes of of parts and pieces and then I got a pallet of stuff and then some other random things I'm trying to get rid of and uh, so I'm open to offers if you want to come over and take a look at it and make it make me an offer here if not I can I can ship some stuff but obviously it uh, costs a little bit more to ship it because it's heavy for the most part and uh, if you do it without going on eBay I can do it even cheaper and just do friends and family on PayPal and, and we can come up with something but otherwise I'll direct you to eBay and you'll see a lot of stuff on there uh, green Johnny popper I've got it got it for sale on eBay uh, and I haven't I haven't put a couple things on there yet and some of the biggest stuff I probably won't um, but anyway let's go take a look at what we got up here and, and you can see for yourself if something you need let's come over here and my flow is on a 140 it's got the flapper on it there's nothing wrong with it there's a cup muffler and this was off a cub fast hitch. There's a cub swing and draw bar. Uh, there's another one. I have, I've got uh, over here. It's just the draw bar part. This right here goes on a super C on the left hand side. And it goes from the rock shaft down to your fast hitch. There's another cub fast hitch part. I've got the, uh, the drag link bar right here for a, a cub mower. There's a hanger here for a center mower. And I, I thought these were for a cub plow, but they're too big. So they might have come off the 140 plow. I don't know. That's about a foot wide. And that's probably seven, eight inches there. More of those things. I got a, a depth control here for uh, Super A to 140. This right here is the rear lift. It goes on the cub. And these right here are to mount a fast hitch. And these came off a of 140. There's the latching bars uh, for a cub. And I got three of these rods here that go. They go from the rock shaft uh, back to this right here. So you, that's how you lift your stuff in the back. And I got both sides. So I got both sides of, of the fast hitch here. And this is the diagonal brace. This one's for the for the cub. I've got a bigger one for the 140. Uh, there's two of these tires with the three loop adjustable rims. The tires aren't worth a lot. They hold air. Uh, I'll pretty much give them to you if you, you're local and you want to just come over and get them. I got a brand new rim here that went on a Super C that I never used. This rod right here, I, I don't remember. I really don't remember what that hooked to anymore it's not a starter switch I don't I don't know I don't remember so I'm coming here and this right here goes on the belt crank on a super C for the fast hitch and if you use them I said that one on the left side I mean it went on the right side that other bar this one goes on the left and there's another bar that goes from there up to the side of the tractor uh, let's see, this right here goes on this, and this bar right here is on for a uh, tractor with a, a 140 or a 130 or 100 or whatever, with a fast hitch and it's straight, and then this right here hooks down on your draw bar and it hooks on your, your uh, rock shaft, and I got these right here, these are all fast hitch parts, and I only, can only find one, I had two, 
don't know where the other one is, but this one on the fender of that 100, I had a 130, and it's to mount the fast hitch. And if I can find the other one, I'll throw it in there, but I don't, I don't know where it is off the top of my head. And this collar right here, I knew what it was the other day, now I've forgotten again. I don't remember anymore. Uh, it's a depth stop, and I don't remember, so it'll probably come to me after I'm done here, but I don't remember anymore. Here's a, this is a, I believe, a starter rod. It could be for a cub or it could be for the Super C8. I don't remember any more of that either. This right here goes on the Pitman for a mower and it works on all the IH mowers. It's just the Pitman end. This is a diagonal brace. It's that 140 fast hitch. I got a really good Super C or a Super A uh, oil pan. There's no dents in it. And, it was repainted and cleaned up, and it's kind of done with. They used to have a farm family center used to sell paint, and that was what it was painted with. And it's not doing it any justice. It, it looks orangey, but it's, it's red. It's just not the best paint in the world. It's, it's in good shape. There it is, the grease gun that came with a cub, and I don't remember if it was an aftermarket or if it was, uh, came with it. don't remember. Here's another cub drawbar. And the swinging, the swinging drawbar here, and the the rod that goes to the lift on the back. There's another one. And then I got this cup pulley, belt pulley. It's in real good shape. I also got a, a single cut fast hitch disc hero uh, down back and. The guy was going to come get it and he never did, so I guess he's out of luck now. Um, but anyway, make me offers on this stuff, and if I can ship it, I'll ship it to you and do friends and family. It's, it'll be cheaper. Uh, if you can come pick it up, and I'll do an even better deal because you can come over here and load it and get it out of here. But I really want to get it out before the snow flies just to get this stuff out of here. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but, uh, you know, if you give me something reasonable, then you can have it. I got two of these. These are... The stay rods for a Cub uh, 22 mower, sickle mower, these are always gone because that right there slides on the drag link. So if you get the drag link and you put this on it, you're going to have the whole front done. And then the last thing I got is this one's, com well, except for the, the nut, it's a complete axle clamp. And so these would go on the tractors without the fast hitch. You'd have one on each side and you'd hook your mower or your plows onto it or whatever, cultivators. And on the fast hitch one, you'd put this on the right side if you had a mower, and you'd lock the, the mower to this so that basically the fast hitch wasn't picking it up and down. It would be set where it was, and then uh, you'd pick up the mower with your, with your rock shell. Right here's a set of front weights, and these are for the 15 inch wheels. So it'll fit on a 140 if it's got the smaller wheels, but if you have the bigger. 140 like I did with the 16 inch wheels you need the donut weights so this won't fit but it fits uh, you know a b c super c 200 230 uh, all those tractors h and m and 200 bucks you can have them and if I got to ship them you'll have to add another 50 bucks because they're heavy so I have to ship them in two boxes so 250 if you want it shipped 200 if you come get them and I got I got some of the, some of the bolts here This right here is a, a weight bracket. It goes on a, a 100 series John Deere, like a you know a D130 or whatever. And you put two suitcase weights on it, so 10 bucks for that. If you show up in person and you want all of it, uh, come make me an offer and after you look at it. And don't insult me, but if, if, if you can offer me something that's reasonable, you can have all of it. Because I've, I've pretty much made my money off all this stuff, but I don't want to give it away. And if, I'm just stubborn like that. If you come over and insult me, I'll just take it to the I'll take it to the scrapyard and and get what I get. So uh, anyway, I guess it's just the old manner in me. Either give me something reasonable or I'll junk it.
But all these parts are from either the, like the Super A 100, 130, 140, Super C 200, and some there's some Cub parts in here, but it's mostly just tune-up parts for the Cub. A lot of um, switches, knobs, different pieces and parts. Uh, there's a clamp, fender clamp, a filter that's seen better days, but maybe it's better than what you got. Emblems. Uh, well, I'll put I'll put the pictures up here, and you can take a look at it. If you have any questions about these these pictures, just shoot me a comment down below, and I will definitely give you a better deal if you buy this directly and uh, do PayPal friends and family. Otherwise, it's all on um, eBay. A bunch of parts as far as like decals. I got a John Deere box and an IH box, and I'll show you these in a second. But otherwise, just look under Green Johnny Popper on eBay, and you'll see all the stuff I've got. It's like I said, it's either Cub 100, 130, 140, Super A, or a Super C, or a 200. And there's, the only thing I've got for the John Deere is just this, these decals, and most of it's for a John Deere B or an M. But there's a couple generic ones here, like this big John Deere decal, and I got one in here with like just a big John Deere on it. That was for, uh, I was gonna make it for a 24T baler, but I never put them on. So this is the John Deere box. And then I'll put, the pic I'll put a picture of that up for you in a second. This is the IH box. Got some cutting gals, a lot of stuff. Nothing really complete that I can tell. You know, a lot of just random stuff. I got a complete set of C decals. I think there's a set of B or BN in there. Um, there's an A and, and then a Super A, so they don't match. Uh, but you can see there's just tons of little pieces in here. I was gonna put this on my planter, but I never, never did. This is help for that. It's like I don't know, twenty bucks for the John Deere one. And you know whatever it costs for shipping, let's just say ten bucks. So add ten dollars to that, and then the IH one, um, just say twenty-five bucks. And I'll try to get them in the mailer. I'll try to get them all in the mailer. I think I can. Just I don't want to crease them. And when I usually put those decals on, I always put it on when the paint was tacky, and it just seemed to like stick better. And they never peeled off. So, but uh, fast hitch parts, tune-up parts, uh, some sheet metal attachment parts. Like I said, look at these pictures pretty carefully and I'll leave them up here. And uh, I'll zoom them in a little bit so you can see the different things. So there's two two of these medium, two of these medium uh, flat rate boxes. And I could probably, maybe if I packed it real well, get it into a, a large flat rate box. And there's probably, no joke, four or $500 worth of parts that were new. And I have really no idea what to charge for them. So uh, basically make it worth my while to, to go down to the post office and mail them. These are for a wide front end for a Super C or a C. These are brand new, these push-pull starters. Um, some are for Cubs and uh, the, the Cub one with the Magneto only has one and this has two. These are for attaching the steering wheel. Uh, these are the stainless steel clamps uh, for the flapper. This is a brand new gear shift knob and a brand new light switch. This is a clutch cover housing. Some of the Super C's have a round one and some have this one and obviously that's not the one that you need. And this is a, a stainless steel flapper. And seal on the plate. This is if you convert to 12 volts and usually what I tell people, if you're going to convert to 12 volts, just change out your coil and put a 12 volt coil in there and then you don't have to worry about that. And don't ask me what that screw is for. It's for something, obviously. Here's a brand new uh, switch from Steiner. There's another brand new knob. Uh, ammeter. These are the starter switches that go on the starter. These are brand new. There's probably half a dozen in there. And there's another switch. This one. This one's uh, pretty sure it's for Magneto because it's only got one, one screw on it. And then these things are always broken 
on tractors and it's, it goes on your touch control and it's got the brand new wing nuts. There's two or three of them in there. And the new IH emblem. I was going to put this on a 300 um, and that never happened. And just some, some screw, this is the starter screws. Uh, there's, there's quite a few of these nuts in here for uh, the steering wheel. This is, goes on the side of a Super C or a Super A or whatever's got touch control. That goes on there. And this is a seat um, bolt with the rubber on it. And the switch. There's another nut. There's quite a few of these in there. Some, some wiring. This is just a different regular old starter switch. And then the other box. So in here we've got, uh, this is the fast hitch gauge, some wiring. These went on a Cub uh, Woods mower, the lift. This goes on a planner on a Cub, and this is all brand new, and it's, it's really heavy, so uh, the shipping will be included, but I'll probably have to charge a little bit more because this thing it's got to weigh five pounds. I've got a bunch of these starter switches. These are brand new. Uh, these are brand new. Distributed caps. Foil. And it goes on your planter drive. Fuel. I don't know what these went to anymore. There's two, two or three of them there. And this right here goes on your starter. Another switch. This one's got a key in it. All these guys right here go on your steering wheel. So when you decide you're putting a new steering wheel on, I always ended up <clears throat> replacing these because I, I wrecked them, getting them off. They were so stuck on there, I'd have to either put the torch to it or, or sawzall it or whatever and get that stupid thing off there. But these are all brand new with the, with the, the key. You need that. And that goes to a, a woods mower. There's tons of these starter switches. These are the boots. Those are the spark plug wires. There's a brand new starter cover. Another distributor cover. Ignition parts. It's a starter switch. This goes on the planter drive on the side. And there's a ton of these guys. They're brand new. I put a brand new one. This one's got a new wing nut on it. It's for your, your touch control. These three here go on your fast hitch. There's two of them. Uh, this is a, a, not, a, not a new one, but there is a new one right here that's never been used. Right here. I don't know if I charge for them. Those two boxes, I might be able to get it into a large flat rate box. Mm. But I was gonna say, you know, 100 bucks plus shipping. So I don't know, 125 bucks just to get it out of here. And it's worth way more than that, but 125 bucks plus you know, 25, $125 and I'll ship it to you, how's that?